guys. I'm in Kuhiki right now. All this, what you can see, is lava. One and a half years ago, it used to be very different people would swim here. There were lots of boats and it was covered by the lava. A lot of people had to evacuate, 700 houses. And this is a little shrine, Hawaiian shrine. It's really beautiful. I've never seen one before. It's awesome. I want to talk about the Eye of the, Ho the Horus. Um, the Eye of the Horus is uh, from the old Egyptian time. It's actually the third eye, called the third eye, which is between uh, uh, our eyes on the forehead. But actually it's a gland which is between our forehead and our neck. And it's a gland in the size of a nut. And it helps us to connect, it's like antenna, it helps us to connect with the spiritual rhyme, with source. That means it's also Horus is like an eagle. The eagle is a flying above everything. That means we are connecting with source. That's why it's very important that you do decalcify all your glands. And it's called the hypothalamus gland, which is very important because it controls the hormones. It con controls the psychic abilities, also the ability of your third eye to see things like energies, but also to be obje objective if there's a situation and two people are fighting that you can fly above like an eagle and see the situation from two people's side and perspective and then come and heal, support, give coaching or whatsoever. And seeing things from a higher perspective is very important because this earth is not just material, it's also spiritual, right? So it's building a bridge. The third eye do you remember when they had those giant people and they had only one eye on the third eye? So that was uh, a unicorn, yeah? So we have those um, beings and we used to have them here on earth and it just, it's kind of sleeping but in a way it's not sleeping. So um, in the old Egyptian, the old Egyptian um, people were actually from Atlantis, that when Atlantis uh, drowned, um, they went to Inner Earth and also a lot of people, they went to Egypt and it's also connected to Osiris and Isis and Sirius, Orion, the star constellation, it's uh, connected to the twin flames and the eagle is also stands for the Holy Spirit kind of a thing in the Catholic Church but it stands for spirituality. So I just wanted to give an information, a quick one, on the Eye of the Horus. And you have a wonderful, great, amazing day. Good morning, good evening, good night. Bye. Aloha.